he had this frustrating ability on occasion, just when you are really frustrated with a particular decision he might have made, to do something unexpected and generous and personal. From the time when my mother passed, he, um, he was uh, very sensitive to that. I said this to him, but he also said, and I explained this conundrum of his frustrating behaviour. He just smiled at me and said, I'm sure I'll frustrate you again. And he did. It's a very tough day for Mr Abbott. I say to him, to Margie, to his remarkable daughters, that we wish you well. To Mr Abbott's personal staff, led by the formidable Peter Credlin, you've served the boss loyally and according to your code, and we recognise this. And in conclusion, I just say to Mr Abbott, I had the privilege of, uh, on several occasions, being with you when we would address serving men and women of our defence forces. And what I thought was remarkably humble of um, the member for Warringah is he would frequently introduce his remarks to them and say, I've never served. And he was conscious, I think, of this, even disproportionately. And what I say to Mr Rabbit is, you have served. I don't think you need to uh, judge yourself any less for not having actually worn the uniform of this country. You have represented and been the Prime Minister of this country. That is service indeed. Yeah, yeah.